hot summer nights. Shout out to A64 checking in. Check in with us for Zovac Thursday, 302 858 5117 at 715. Good morning to everybody jumping on our Facebook Live this morning. What's up? Make sure to uh, listen to the Bill and Jessica podcast up on our Free Power app in your app store. All right, top left hand drop down, click on podcast. You can check out segments from our show at any time. Mm-hmm. Also, up on our website, power1017.com. And we update uh, the podcast every day. Every day. All right, so make sure you check it out. We have a couple headlines that we didn't get a chance to get into earlier. Governor Larry Hogan spoke yesterday. He did. And I didn't know what he was going to say. I I didn't watch it. Okay. One thing that I've I've noticed is that if I don't watch it, right. Um, Right away, like the news stations, like fight to get the story up right uh-huh. away. Uh-huh. Like if he announces that there's some change or something when he gives a COVID nineteen update, okay. I can always go to Channel Forty Seven. They'll have the story up in the middle of his speech. Like what? As soon as he says something, they have it up. Okay. You know, yeah. um, and so will uh, some, the Baltimore stations too, because they all fight to get the story up first. So I don't have to really like sit there and you know, since the start of the pandemic, we did this and we did this and we, you know. All the junk. I just want the meat. Oh, I Not know. all the fat around the I meat. Know. You know what I'm saying? But yesterday uh, really didn't affect us, but it did affect some. And Jess, uh, you got the yes. story. Yesterday, Governor Larry Hogan, Maryland's top official, is calling out nursing homes and hospitals in the state, issuing new mandates when it comes to COVID-19 vaccinations. With over 79% of adults vaccinated, Governor Larry Hogan says that not enough of them are working inside Maryland's health care facilities. Governor Hogan says that not every hospital has taken action and some continue to have far too many unvaccinated health care workers needlessly exposing these patients in hospitals to COVID-19 and the Delta variant. Eight full months after vaccines have been available to health care workers and this is simply not acceptable. Effective immediately, all nursing home and hospital employees will be required to show proof of vaccination. And if you are unable to do so, you will have to submit to a regular ongoing screening and testing. He also announced that they would be implementing tougher enforcement actions for those who do not comply with the state protocols and those who fail to report their vaccination data. Uh, They will be looking at some fines and civil penalties as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, I know, you know, we did it before, but shout out to Worcester County. Superintendent Luke Taylor, he's doing a great thing. He's making it um, optional to wear masks. Back to school is here. Recommended, but, you know, not mandated. Uh, and Channel 47 did a story about Worcester County uh, preparing to go back to school. Our show tonight in Worcester County, where the start of the school year is rapidly approaching. Worcester County Public Schools are prepped and ready with COVID-19 safety protocols in place and now they're waiting to welcome students and staff back. 47 ABC's Hannah Cicchini joins us now live from Buckingham Elementary School in Berlin. Hannah, what do parents and students need to know before the first day of school? Yeah, Julian and Jordan, school district officials say that they're pretty confident they're ready to welcome everyone back safely. But of course, they need to allow for flexibility because the pandemic is ever changing. That's why they say they're leaving things like masks optional on campuses and asking for patience. The first day of school in Worcester County is fast approaching and district officials are putting an optional masking policy in place on campuses. It can't be about should we wear a mask or not be wear a mask. My, because again, I'm an American citizen like everyone else, and we have our own opinions. My focus has to be on the kids that I serve here in Worcester County. On buses, masks will be mandatory. District officials say the seats right behind the drivers will be kept closed, and they're also considering double runs if they need to for distancing. While masks will be mandatory on transportation, something that the district can't mandate is vaccinations or testing. But all school personnel and students will have to answer a health questionnaire every day. We will go out of our way to make sure if anyone wants to get the vaccine, to help them, to sign them up. If we had to, I'm not sure we would even provide transportation for them to get uh, the vaccination. With those protocols in place, some parents say they're confident their kids will be able to start the school year safely yes. and end it successfully. Worcester County's dealt with this the, the most brilliantly they could have and they've sort of 
always giving it a lot of time to sort of think about it and then come up with a great solution. At That's the our end. buddy Tony really Weed. Happy with the solution they have for this year. Meanwhile, others say they're happy to see the district allowing parents to be flexible when it comes to masking. Kids who want to wear masks obviously should be allowed to, and then the kids that don't want to should be allowed not to. But I also don't want the school to be closed for another year either. Now, we're also told by the school district that obviously things like buses and transportation will still be available for students. However, they're asking parents who are able to drop off their students and pick them up from school to do so. Of course, again, like I said, if they're able to. For now, live in Berlin, Hannah Cicchini, 47 ABC. All right, so there you go. So, again, bravo to Worcester County. I, I think uh, they're going to be yes. uh, they're going to be yes. good to go. And I saw a picture up at Stephen Decatur yeah. with uh, outside the stadium, mm -hmm. like back to normal outside of the stadium no it, it, like up in the bleachers the start of this fall sports season oh everything's open yeah okay yeah yeah so everybody well, that's great everybody was up there so right. definitely um you know definitely a great thing good morning power 1017 hey good morning jessica this is bubba bubba almany good yes morning. good morning hang out we're gonna get right to you hang on the line okay Yes, sir. Thank the, uh, you. Yes, very good. Bubba Almany standing by. He's got his big celebrity basketball game coming yep. up. And uh, we will talk to him right after we do this right here. You now have the length of this Firefly artist song to text the keyword Firefly. F-I-R-E-F.